All right, so our to-do, like I told you, has two states. One, when they are editing him, and the other one, when they are not editing him, all right? When you are just showing him. So this is what we're going to do on this video. We're going to create the two states, and we're going to show them. Um, we're gonna change them, change between them, okay? So I will create a state, and I'm going to call this state is editing, all right? And by default, it's not gonna be editing the to-do. Perfect. Now I'm going to create the styles already, style, container, container, all right? Now my container styles are super simple. The first one they have is that I'm going to um, make them, I'm going to do the, the same thing I did with the card, all right? I'm going to make them the width of the, of the, of the um, fuck, of the container, but a little bit less. So it looks like a little bit of, um, of a list, all right? So to do this, I will get the width and the height, dimensions, get window. As you can see, it's importing automatically. When I type dimensions, boom, dimensions, because, uh, because um, VS Code is super cool. Now container is going to have a width of the width of the page minus 50. Mm, nothing, I guess, nothing. We're not seeing anything because we need to go to the app and in our scroll view, we need to create, I'm gonna call this uh, to do's, to do's, and here I will say align items center. And I'm going to pass this to my scroll view because the scroll view has um, a prop that is called, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's called container style something. Wait one second, where is it? There it is, container, no, content container style, sorry. Content container style. And this is how we pass the styles to the inside of the scroll view, all right? Styles to do's. All right, so now it's on the center. As you can see, we moved it, and now there is a space here, which is good. All right, let's go back to to-dos. Boom, hello, all right. And now we're going to give it a border, ah, border bottom color of the same as this guy, B, 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 border bottom width, uh, Style sheet, ah, style sheet, hairline width. All right, and let's see how it looks. Nice. Now I'm gonna give it a little bit, a little bit of space. Not too much space, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of space. Um, maybe later when I apply the margins and the paddings to my container. All right, I'm going to say that the flex direction is row because I want stuff next to uh next to each other and this is because here i am going to create a touchable opacity all right and here i'm going to create a view and i'm going to call this view radio radio like the circle all right let's call it circle it's better circle all right right now there's nothing there we're going to create it pretty soon but before that i am going to do style styles text perfect all right now the text i'm gonna give it a font width weight of 600 fat nice and a font size of 20 let's go bam all right nice and i'm gonna give it a margin vertical to the text it mean top and bottom of 20 and there we have our space Nice. Now let's go for the radio. The radio is my favorite part. The circle. I don't know why I call it the radio. Circle. All right. So circle. I'm gonna say a width of a 50, height 50, border radius of uh, 50, 50, 25. A background color just to fuck around of red just to see if it works yeah that's super big no I'm gonna do 30 and the border radius if you want a circle 
the border radius should always be half of the width and the height, so 15. There we go. Now, the this is not aligning to the center, so here I will say align items to the container, align items, center. There we go. All right, and the circle, I'm gonna give it a margin. A margin to the right of 30 pixels, maybe. Maybe too much, maybe 20. Yeah, it's okay, all right. So it's not gonna be background color red, it's gonna be something different. It's gonna have a border, uh, what is it, border color. I'm gonna give it a border color red, but this is not gonna show up border width. It's gonna show up of a 10, I don't know, comma. Too much, I just want a circle, maybe border width, five, three, done, that's good enough, dismiss. All right, that's good enough, I can tap it, nice. Okay, how much time is on this video? All right, here we, we're done for this video, but it is working, looks kinda cool. And now, um, what I'm going to do is that I want to create, on the next video, what I want to create is um, my buttons here, the pencil and the X, and if I tap on it, we're going to switch it to editing. All right, and that's it. Oh, you know what? Fuck it, let's, uh, we have, yeah, let's do 10 minutes here. I am going to come here. And what happens when I tap on it? Right now, it's like, uh, it's not completed. So you know what? Let's create a hypothetical scenario that happens when I type on it and I complete it. So. To do this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create multiple styles and depending on what is happening, right? Depending on what is happening, I am going to change them. I think that this doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna say is completed, false. All right, so right now we're going to handle the, the, the theory, th we're going to handle the logic in the to do JS just because I want to be able to make changes. Now this is not going to be like that. We are going to handle the complete and incomplete from the application because the application is the one that is going to load and save the to-dos. So for the to-do only, only for the to-do, I'm going to handle it like this, right? Only for the styles. So is completed false. And here, touchable opacity, I'm gonna make an on press. All right, I'm gonna create a new uh, complete to-do. Okay, so on press. And here I'm going to say complete and let's do on complete, all right? On complete to do also. Okay, sweet. So here I will say, uh, no, that's retarded. It's better to say, sorry for that. Toggle, complete, that's it. All right, so here I will say this set state. I will pass a brief state. I will get the previous state. And I will say return. Wow, return. Um, huh. Return is completed equals previous state is completed and the negative of that. All right. Wow. Sorry. And here, this toggle complete. Done. All right, refresh. So when I tap, I'm completing it or not. In this case, I'm just saying, uh, get the previous state and assign is completed to the previous state, but the opposite, the opposite of is completed on the previous state. That's what this means, all right? So if this is false, like this, then the opposite is gonna be true, all right? And if this is true, then the opposite is gonna be false, all right? False. So that's what we do. And now I want to create uh, different styles depending on if it's completed or not. So on my circle here, I am going, instead of just doing this, I'm going to create an array, and I'm going to say style circle, styles circle. And here const is completed from the state, I'm gonna get it from the state, 
perfect and now here I will say styles circle and here I'll say if it's completed then also a styles completed circle if it's not completed styles uncompleted pleated circle this is how you pass multiple uh, styles and how you pass conditions through React Native. So let's check this out. Circle, and we have complete circle and incomplete circle. Nice. All right, so I'm going to remove the color part of the completed because everything else, both circles have it. The only different thing is the border color. Border color. All right, so if it's completed the border color will be my favorite one and if it's not completed the border color will be the color of the list of the background let's see refresh oh 10 minutes so here i tap what let's see on press touchable opacity on press this toggle complete toggle complete is completed if it's completed, then styles completed circle. And if it's not completed, styles uncompleted circle. So completed circle has border color. And yeah, uncompleted circle has this one. Where is the error, people? Is completed. Uh, idiot here. What the fuck, man? So refresh. Let's see. So it is not completed. But when I tap, it is completed, so it becomes um, gray. So as you can see, it's getting the styles from the circle that makes him be a circle, but it's also getting the styles completed circle, which is this one, All right? And if I tap on it, it's uncompleted, so now it gets the uncompleted styles. All right, on the next video, we are going to do the same thing for the text, and we are going to show the uh, buttons to uh, edit or delete. So see you on the next video. Bye-bye.